For years, I've been studying a solitary animal. I may not be expert on this, but I spent a long time stu studying about that. What I notice is majority of the species, living species, are social animals other than plants. Of course not for plants, moss, fun, fungi, bacteria. Bacteria, plant, fungi are usually the producer. They are the bottom of the food chain. They are the primary producer of all the food chain. The animals are in the middle. They are usually a lot more prey and a lot even more a lot more producer than predators. They are more a lot more producer than the small prey. What I find is that most of the solitary animals are at the top of the food chain or near top of the food chain. And a lot of solitary animals are at the top of the food chain. Like tigers, bears, jaguars, alligator, great horn owl. While the social apex predators we're talking humans, for example, wolves, lions, gorillas. Gorillas, that which makes sense because the top tier predators are a lot of them are also the solitary one because they are the because the top predators has more food needs. There's, I mean, uh, bears are un unlike humans. Solitary animals are not built that way. They they're not into hanging out with friends and family. Their emotions work differently than the social animals. And the, the, it, what happens is when, the, for example, when the bear sees another bear, the, ad, the adult bear fights another adult bear, male or female, to keep the bear out of his or her territory. It's not because they don't like each other, because they are built that way, they to be solitary, unlike humans. For humans, we're not built that way to be solitary. We're naturally born social, same as dogs. They live in packs, so as the ele elephant. The elephant also have a social structure too, multi-generation structure, so as bees. For example, bee colonies, and ant colonies. Yeah, so ant colonies. And if the, some animals had to go solitary because when the prey sees the predator, some predators in groups, the prey can easily spot the predator and run away. That's why some of the animals we're talking evolution. Some of them evolved to split up to um, catch it, to catch the food.